Um, at the moment, the Global uh, Atheist Convention is taking place in uh, Melbourne. It'll be a huge thing. Uh, Jason Ball is the Atheist Convention spokesperson and joins us now. Hello, Jason. <laughs> Hi, Paul. I'm a voice just in your ear. Am I really here? <laughs> um, Jason, so how many people are turning up globally to this Melbourne place? Uh, 4,000 people, approximately, um, about 40% interstate and international attendees, so it's going to be a pretty huge event. So you've got 4,000 people who disbelieve turning up to talk about their disbelief? Correct. I mean, you know, uh, you, you did make the joke earlier that all atheists would do at an atheist convention is get together and talk about nothing. Um, but I can assure you that that's not the case. We're bringing together uh, some of the world's leading thinkers from uh, a variety of different disciplines, whether that's science or philosophy or ethics, speakers like Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris, Daniel Dennett, Ion Hersey Alley, just to name a few. But these people the might take... Is, yeah, sorry, I'm just interrupting. Take Richard Dawkins for a fa I mean, nobody doesn't know what he thinks. All of your people know what he thinks. All of your people agree with him. Why do they need to listen to him say it again? Well, I think the Atheist Convention provides a rallying point for non-believers to sort of get behind common causes. And I think atheists in today's society have been the champions for reason and science in the face of creeping superstition and irrationality in the world. Creeping superstition. Um, all right, let's, uh, let me just ask you some yes or no questions because atheists are very good at giving yes or no answers, I've been told. Are Christians stupid? Um, no, I don't, I don't think all Christians are stupid. Okay. I mean, there How might many be Christians some stupid, are stupid beliefs stupid? there. <laughs> How many? Yeah, most? <laughs> Um, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not calling Christians stupid. I mean, atheists, you know, we, we don't want to ban religion. I think we, we, we believe in the principle of secularism, which is fairness um, in terms of the state being neutral in matters of religion. Everyone has the right to believe whatever they want. They just don't have the right to impose those beliefs onto other people. All right. But do you think Christians impose... And I'm just picking on Christians. So let's call them Buddhists for a moment. Um, do you think Buddhists are imposing their beliefs on non-Buddhists? Are they imposing their beliefs on people like yourself, atheists? Um, well, look, personally, uh, Buddhists, I think, are quite mild. I think what we are concerned about is, say, Christians. groups like the Australian Christian Lobby yeah. having an undue influence um, on, on political discourse in this country. All right. Um, so much to ask, so little time. Uh, let's go back to the Christians, because you've got a bit of a chip on your shoulder with Christians, haven't you? Because you think that they do hold some kind of a privileged position. So you're a bit anti your Christians. Well, I mean, in Australia, 60% of people mark some form of Christianity in the census, so it is the majority belief, but it is a multicultural, multi-faith society that we live in. Um, but I think that, you know, uh, non-belief is the fastest growing demographic when it comes to the question of religion in the census, and, and it's about time that there was an event where we can be proud of that and embrace it. Who do you most dislike? Would it be the agnostics, who are sort of slightly fence-sitters? <laughs> Um, well, you know, I'd probably even consider myself an agnostic atheist. I think if, uh, you know, if there was enough evidence for the existence of God, then maybe I would believe in it. Yeah, all right. Um, what's the king hit? For people who are watching now thinking that you're just a bunch of disbelieving freaks, what is the king hit piece of knowledge that you can impart this morning that will make particularly hardline Christians think twice? Well, the thing is, we don't really have a hard-hitting piece of knowledge. It's really science is um, uh, the, the only process that we have to figure out the reality of the world that we live in. And so, um, without evidence, I don't think we can really um, hold these particular beliefs, uh, let alone, you know, base important decisions when it comes to tackling the world's problems. Um, we need to be basing that on evidence and reason. Jason, I thank you very much for joining us. Enjoy your conference. Thank you. Thanks, Paul.